sounds good. Hey guys, hope you're doing everything possible to make sure you're not bored shitless in this current situation. For me, I decided to uh, make a little tutorial video seeing as I haven't made one in a very long time. Yesterday, I ended up posting this picture of my Marvel mug, which actually I have right here. I'm obviously a Marvel fan, but I ended up posting this um, split screen this split photo that you can do on Instagram where it's just like one half of the photo and it continues on in like a seamless transition into the next photo which is just a big landscape photo. I had a couple of people DM me asking how exactly they can do that as well so I thought why not make a little video tutorial on how, how I did it. There's loads of videos on YouTube already about how, how to do this, that's how I found out but you know what, I'll make a video anyway. I'm just gonna dive straight into it and I wanna open up Lightroom Grab whichever photo you want to do this with. It's usually a landscape photo that you want to take as much retail space as possible on Instagram. Here I have the marble mug already edited to the way that I like. What you want to do is you want to crop this 16 by 10, like so. Once that's done, you right click on the photo and you go edit in Photoshop. So the first time I went to hit that edit in Photoshop button, it wasn't allowing me to actually click on the, the button. It was like faded out, so I couldn't press it. So all I did was just, I shut down Lightroom, I shut down Photoshop, restarted the computer, went back into it, and then all of a sudden it reappeared. So if you have that problem, just try that out. All right, so now that we are in Photoshop, you're gonna want to go over to the Crop tool, this one, right click that, go down to the Slice tool. With the Slice tool, you're gonna want to drag outside the left side of the photo, drag it till it snaps into the middle of the photo, and you're gonna see that snap. Don't worry if it doesn't snap, you can just take it to before halfway and then after you can just readjust and drag, drag that line until you see that snap. Now that you have the two slice pieces, you're going to want to go to File, Export, Save for Web. This will open up and here you go down to Height and change the height to 13. 50, which is the maximum height for Instagram before Instagram will start shrinking and compressing your own photo. So once you do that, you go up, hit the slice tool, come down to the zoom in or out button where you can zoom out to see what your photo looks like. Click on one side, come up here to uh, change it to JPEG and you want your quality to be 100. So once you do that for one side, you then click on the next and you repeat, do the same. Make sure the quality is 100 and then save. And then you just save it into whichever file you want. So I'll go ahead and save this into my pictures. So you can go ahead and take all of your landscape photos and anything like that and split them and put them into Instagram. And you'll get that seamless transition into the next photo, which is actually your full landscape photo. If you want to check out that Marvel post and all my other posts, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the my name just down here. And that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It helps my channel out a great deal. With all that said, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the game, we taking shots off the rebound.